today we'll walk through the databricks gui so this is the community edition if you see the community edition you have two workspace one is the data science and engineering other is the machine learning if you go into data science and engineering so you will see you directly create a notebook from here you can also see different tutorials you can data import directly you can import the data if you want to delta live table you can transform data using the transform data data live tables auto ml below you will see the documentation these are very helpful document guide you can read through you will understand how what are the best practices all these things databricks is giving here release notes these are a different blog post you can read through once you work on the data engineering workspace so this is your data engineering workspace if you go to machine learning workspace you will see similar kind of detail in the machine learning section so these are the similar kind of what we discuss in the data engineering you will see documentation blog post all these are here so let's focus on the data engineering data science and data engineering i will go to data and data science engineering i will go in workspace if i go in workspace we have two here one is the shared other is the users shared means in organization you want to share uh, library or maybe some of the code to different uh, uh, group you can use shared one users are very individual so if you want to uh, test some code in your side you can write those kind of in your user section so let's create one of the notebooks so that's where we will get the idea so if you select this workspace create a notebook you can import notebook also all you can also export those notebook we'll see how to export those things but create so let's go to create notebook so create net no notebook we put a test test code so let's say for example i have a sql language i am preferring sql language i can say use the sql someone is expert on the python they can use the python scala or r and again depends on the organization need so let's say we are selecting here cluster these are the cluster which are available here i will run my code on these clusters this cluster one cluster at a time so i can create this one so this is my command line so where i can write my code so let's say in this case i am creating a table so what i will do create table table name suppose employee we are doing testing employee test field let's say i select id id will be suppose integer type of id and name suppose name we are taking as a string type so these are the two fields because this is just a sample example we are creating this command so how to run this one you have shift plus enter if you do shift plus enter from your keyboard you can run this or you have right hand side this in the run cell let's run a cell run cell once you run this cell this what this will command will do this will create a table for us so this table got created so if you want to see this is going to data tab here you have the default schema under that you have employee test so if you open this employee test you will see the details when when it got created last modified partition what is the fields name right what is data type all this field and the history also you can see the history about this table so you will see version time is time user id user name operation parameters job notebook cluster id read version so all these information engineering info all these information you can get from here so let's go to workspace one more time so we were doing some testing so this is the code now i want to insert so what i can do i can create another command so the another command i can write here i insert into table name is employee test let's copy this one values so let's put one value at a time so 101 is the record and we want to put name stay we can run the cell so it will insert a record here if you see the spark job it is running so you can expand the job also what the jobs are doing if you want to read through all these jobs you will see these details about jobs we will discuss that in detail in another another video so this is the record we have inserted 
so think this way once you run right so there are options where run all above and below what does that mean let's say for example you are writing 100 line of code there are very important code in this command line so you before you run a command two you have to run a command one so then what we will do you will say okay run all above commands right uh, or let's say you want to run all 100 line of code one time you can say run all the below commands all these options are available here so let's say for example you want to instead of doing this in sql you want to select another language you don't need to create another notebook that is the beauty of the databricks so you can say scala so by default what will what will happen once you write a scala here that it, you are passing information to compiler this code is written in the scala uh, compile and execute that so here you can put a scala and write a scala code here in between so let's say you want to declare a variable in a scala so that way you, you can declare let's say you, you are interested not in scala you say python i'm going to use the python you don't need to create a separate uh, uh, notebook just to write a python and declare your variable so this will work right but right now because you have created a notebook in uh, sql you don't need to highlight that sql it automatically it will treat this as a sql because here you see this one is the sql language it is talking about right and one more thing if you want to uh, put multiple line in this you can put multiple independent line or if you want to comment something you can comment and then you can say select let's say for example from employee test employee test if you run a cell here you will see respective records are here so this way you can work on the your notebook so i hope you understand right uh, workspace where we are creating a separation and then we are storing our code recent it will show recently what are the activity co completed data we already talked about it's a schema where you will see different uh, tables under the default right uh, so that uh, is the where we we have data compute compute is something the machine where we spin the machines because this is the community edition you will not see more options here but you can go and create a compute uh, resource also if you go here let's say you want to create a machine test machine you can select what kind of machine you are going to select what kind of version scala version you are going to select and uh, in the spark you can pass some configuration parameters and environment variables for this because this is the default we can go and create a default machine as per our need right so that way you can create a clusters if you want to delete these clusters go here in this let's say for example this is the machine you want to delete again you are the admin that's where you are going to delete so if you go here right settings because you have admin console you are the admin and that's where you have the admin have the cluster to delete if you don't have the permission to delete you cannot delete that also keep in mind uh, so because this user is admin so we are going and delete this computer machine so let's go here and delete this machine deleting cluster so it will remove this cluster so this machine will get uh, deleted so here uh, we can assign computes so that's where i told if you want to create you can give a name of a test machine to right you can select whatever version you want to select configuration and then create a cluster so because you have reached a maximum number of active cluster please terminate so what for me so i have to terminate the previous cluster that's where i can go and create a new one so for basically what i will do i will go here and uh, i will delete uh, before delete i have to stop so it will stop and it will delete the clusters right so again we go to user setting user is the normal user you can integrate git here let's say you have some code in git you can integrate from the git so these are the different features are available in the user setting i hope you understand the difference between uh, user and the admin so one of feature uh, generally if you go to databricks they have given uh, you have acl uh, basically access control you can control accesses on the notebook who want to run who don't want to run right those kind of permissions you can give if you see the permission options so through that you can provide a permission you want to this as a user just want to run or you just want to view right all these permission can be given from here so that is the admin who is going to configure those permissions for us so let's create a compute for the sample test machine this is the version we are going to select these are the default i will not make any changes create a cluster 
so next video what we will do we will understand what these notebooks are there how this spark ui works what is this driver lock what is this matrix this is the next video we will discuss in detail and we will also discuss how to provide a permission on different notebooks that's one more section i will take a note on that i hope uh, today video will helpful to understand the workspace how the work workspace looks like and uh, we'll see more detail into next uh, video thank you for watching